All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, before we start, you know the, the reason actually I did this uh, broadcast at this time so people in Indonesia can be with us and they can join us in our program. Uh, before we start, I have uh, I receive uh, a message from somebody saying, uh, "Can you invite uh, a Muslim Indonesian scholar uh, to debate you?" And supposedly his name is Imam Shamsi Ali. So I start this video by inviting Mr. Imam Ali or Shamsi Ali uh, to come and debate us if he think he can make it. Now, you know, there is, uh, as I know, there, when somebody, like I saw a website calling him scholar, and I find this is very uh, weird. To call someone from Indonesia Indonesia a scholar when the Arab who speak Arabic they cannot understand the Quran so uh, we invite mr. Imam Shamsi Ali who is called by Muslims a Muslim scholar uh, known for promoting interfaith dialogues in the United States not sure why his prophet do not promote interfaith but he does however he is more than welcome to join us and we will speak to him with all the respect he deserves and let us see uh, how Mr. Imam uh, Shamsi Ali he can present Islam to us maybe he can do a better job than the rest of Muslims we witness until now until now we never met a Muslim who he knew what he is talking about maybe Mr. Shamsi who is from Indonesia he can do better so please if you know Mr. Shamsi inform him in my, of my message and he is more than welcome to call us in Skype anytime he wish. Now we go to our topic. Our topic is about spirituality in Islam. <clears throat> spirituality in Islam. And I found some articles <clears throat> speaking about spirituality in Islam. Islamic spirituality and mental well-being made by Zuhair Abdul Rahman introduction the role of spirituality in emotional mental well-being I really find it very uh, very strange when Muslim he start quoting for me things which have nothing to do with Islam let us see if in this, their articles there is anything proof to us that Islam have a spirituality. I did not find anything. Um, I, I looked, I searched. The guy he is quoting me from, from a guy, his name is Ibn Hazm. I mean, is Ibn Hazm is your God, your prophet? But who is Ibn Hazm? Who is this guy Ibn Hazm? Like, what about you? Show me. Supposedly, it's about Islam. And then he quote for me Ibn Hazm. Ibn means son. Hazm, the name of the guy. Okay, who is this Ibn Hazm? I bet you he himself, the one who is speaking, he do not know what he's talking about. Ibn Hazm himself is the last one to tell you what is spirituality is about because if you read what you just said post for us this is not about spirituality what, what is the topic nothing talking about happiness and sadness this is supposed to be spirituality spirituality intelligence and ability to process life events hmm. I like that that remind me actually when the Prophet of Allah he have a fight with his wives he had to call upon Allah to threat his two wives who they are five foot tall because he could not control them is that the spirituality involve involve what intelligence an ability to process life events let us see how prophet he process life events two, two women of Muhammad of his wives 
and he had many. They got her busted having sex with their maid in their bed, and they have a strike against him. So what Muhammad spirituality does, as usual, he use Allah to control others. He cannot control them, including his own household. So look what he received. Supposedly Allah is the one who is talking. Allah saying to the wives of Muhammad, if you both, <coughs> you should repent to Allah. Mm -hmm. Why? But if you don't repent, and you aid one another against him, Muhammad, then Lu, Allah even, he is his protection. Allah is protecting. I mean, the translation here is weird. Who, who in the uh, protecting friend? Allah is a friend to somebody now in Islam. Who is the idiot who did the big tal? Let's change the translation. That's really crazy. Suddenly, the, they inserted the word friend. Friend. Okay. Indeed, your heart is already sagat aymanahuma. Sagat in Arabic means that they became kuffar. Imagine Allah. Aka Muhammad accusing the wives of Muhammad that they became kuffar their heart went to became kafir so he's asking them to repent come back to Islam okay how if you don't repent and come back to Islam what will happen truly Allah is his protector protector and Jibreel and every righteous one among those who believe and furthermore the angels will back him up have you ever heard of a fight like this? Allah is his protector. Is that enough? No. You see the spirituality? Do you see the spirituality? Spirituality to handle life events. Intelligence. Muhammad, he have a solution. It's very easy. I will just make a verse. Says, Allah says that to you. Shut up. Where is the spirituality? Have you ever heard of somebody having a fight with two wives? He need Allah as a protector. Is Allah is enough? No. Jibreel is going to join the fight. Is Jibreel is enough? No. 1.4 billion Muslim, include Imam Shamsi Ali, he will join the fight now. Is that enough? No. And furthermore, all the angels will back him up. Do you see it? All of this to fight two women, and the funny the Muslim they fabricate uh, article saying that George Bernard Shaw he said in one of his books which we cannot find as usual that if the prophet was exist at this time he can solve all the problem of the world during the time of drinking coffee in ten minutes in the morning. Don't worry about my pronunciation, my friend. People they like listening to me because of my uh, pronu pronunciation, not because it's a perfect English. They like it. And if you don't, you know what? Allah might divorce you or replace you with better women. Women who they are tourists, sa'ihat, tourist. Hmm. Yeah. They will go Muhammad with Muhammad around. Uh, exchange. Have you ever heard of a God? He exchange women. This is the threat of Allah. So where is the spirituality? You see, like uh, Muhammad have a problem with his wife. He go to his room, start sitting alone, thinking alone, uh, asking Allah for her guidance. No, the verse is coming. Either you follow him. Or what I'm going to protect him and then I send to read and then I send every uh, believer and then I will send furthermore every angel in the world all of this to fight to women so what Muhammad will do if he will go and fight America to fight two women they are five foot tall he needs all of those And then there is another Abdul. 
He wanted to refute you Christians So he come with this Refuting Christian misconceptions about the Islamic paradise and the brief look at the Christian paradise and they, they are experts in our paradise <clears throat> refuting the, arg the argument that there is nothing spiritual about Islamic paradise okay what is the refuting this is the refuting chapter 9 verse number 72 this line proving that there is a spirituality in Islam let us go to the Quran just for a joke 972 <coughs> oh boy that's it the Abdul <coughs> he found the spiritual verse in the Quran <coughs> we pass it all right <coughs> this line proving that Allah is a spiritual That Allah he pleased with you this is spirituality my friend the verse the same verse saying look at this garden under which river flow beautiful mansion do you see it is that is that spiritual or this is a building is that river spiritual or it is a river real river so this guy he wanted to show us a spirituality he says well Allah will be pleased with you that is a spirituality obviously you Muslims do not know what spirituality is if there is any Muslim in the chat he would like to call me please let me know I will open my sky for you right now it's not open uh, but if you are a Mohammedan, you like to show me what is spirituality in Islam, I will be happy to listen to you. As I know, there is nothing is called a spirituality. And look, the guy he chose for us a spiritual verse, and the verse after it says, "Be harsh on and the believers and slaughter them." I mean, do you see this, uh, the 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 uh, do you see the the spirituality? Do you see it? O oh, Prophet, strive hard against the believer. Be harsh on them. Jahid al Kuffar. And the hypocrite. Okay, what we will do then? Kill them. And by the way, here, the Muslim, they say to us, there is nowhere in the Quran, it says, that a Muslim who leaves Islam will be killed. No, it does. The verse in the front of you is about killing somebody left Islam. Chapter 9, verse number 74 and 73. He's saying, do jihad against the kuffar. Okay, who are those kuffar? Kuffar, those who left Islam after they became Muslims. Do you see it? They swear by Allah that they said nothing evil, whatever they said. Okay, I don't know. Okay, and then indeed they uh, uh, uttered the blasphemy and they did it after accepting Islam. So, what we would do with them? The verse before it says, Do jihad. You see, it says the word strive. This is jihad. Do jihad hard on them. Change the translation if you don't like the translator. For me, all of them they are liars. Hmm? Do you see it? So those who left Islam, because they left Islam, kill them, do jihad against them. But the guy who was using just the verse, just one verse before it to show us a spirituality in Islam. I mean, do you see how a spirituality in Islam, a spirituality in Islam is a is a is a is a is a, uh, is a pool of blood. 
This is the spirituality. Those Muslims, they will get the reward of Allah and the Allah will be pleased with them because they will slaughter people who they are leaving Islam. So they quote for us this verse to show us that Islam teaching is spirituality. Have you ever heard of a madness like this? This is how you teach us a spirituality, my friend. That's a lot of spirituality. Allah will please with me because I'm going to fight those who left Islam and slaughter them one by one and I will be harsh on them. You don't like the translation, we change it for you. Which I do really like. This one? Hmm? After they accept Islam, they disbelieve. So what we do? We kill them. Murtaddin, spirituality. <clears throat> so when a Muslim he make an article proving to us something, you remember yesterday I made an article uh, uh, like a video, uh, which is titled "Refuting Islam from the Muslim Refutation." You remember? This is exactly what's happening. Always we do that. They wanted to refute us about his spirituality in the heaven of Allah. How you get heaven, how you get to the heaven of Allah by waging war and killing people. A Muslim you might say, No, this is not about waging war. What about we see the interpretation? Shall we? Because maybe he's right. Maybe Christian Prince is giving you uh, his own interpretation. What if a Christian prince given you his own interpretation? Christians they do that, they lie a lot, brother. All Christians they lie, brother. Don't believe them, brother. Okay, let us go. Let us see what the interpretation which Allah supposedly or what, what Allah is saying the, uh, to, to us there. We will go and open a Muslim scholar or the Muslims accepted scholar by the Muhammadan. This is Ibn Kathir, chapter 9, verse number 73-74, order to do jihad, brother, against the disbeliever, disbeliever, and the hypocrite. Allah command the messenger to strive against hard the disbeliever and harsh against them. Allah command him to do the municipal and the believer. And the guys of the brother, you give that, okay? So Christian Prince was not lying. Allah commanded the Prophet to fight the disbelievers with the sword. Uh oh, I thought this is a verse about the spirituality. Oh, uh, Abdul now will say to me, eh, this is a spiritual sword. Isn't it? Any Muhammadan? So you are making for me an article. The verse you choose for me to prove a spirituality in Islam is about shading and killing and slaughtering. Is that the best you can do? Are you sure? <laughs> Do we have any uh, Muhammadan in the chat? He is willing to call us and show us that we are wrong. And here we go. This is the link for those who ask for the link. Uh, save the reference. Okay. And remember always, if a Muslim asks you where in the Quran it says, kill the one who leaves Islam, it's in the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 72, 73. And this is the interpretation. It's in the front of you. <coughs> And the Quran says it clearly that those who left Islam, you know, 
<coughs> Muhammad have a duty to kill them all. All right. A brother. What about we try first to find out what is a spirituality? Because obviously the one who is trying to defend Islam, he himself do not know what the spirituality is. Who is a Muslim? He can tell us what is a spirituality. You believe it or not, not a single Muslim he knew what that word mean. And by the way, how you talk about the spirituality if Allah himself is not spirit? <laughs> You are following a God who he himself is not a spirit. So how the one who is not a spirit, he is about his spirituality. Allah himself is a physical being and he is not a spirit and he has no spirit. Who is a Muslim want to tell us? What is a spirituality? <clears throat> Anyone? Okay, forget about anyone. Any two? I cannot say anything, you know. If I say any smart Muslim, the Muslim get offended. Anything you say, they get offended. And by the way, I don't care if you get offended or not. I want answers. What's your business? Refuting us about the spirituality. Spirituality, and by the way, today I have a chat with this website. Ask Islam. Uh, welcome to Ask a Muslim. Later I will make a video because you will die laughing about the conversation. He hang up on me. You see at the end here, he, he left the chat. It says, Amran has closed the chat. I was searching for like the article about refuting, etc. And then I found here there's a chat. So I said, okay, let me talk to the Abdul. Finally, I found the Abdul. He can answer my question. That's a gift. That's a real gift. So I start conversation. And look, he says to me, I don't know where you're going. Later, I will show you the, the uh, maybe in different video. I'm sure you are excited uh, <clears throat> to know what happened in this conversation. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure where you're going with this. You are not sure about anything. What is my answer? No answer. Let us close this chat. I record it anyway. There we go. All right. <clears throat> the most striking expression of what believers feel when they win Allah good pleasure is that he will manifest himself to them in a way that they can see him imagine we are talking about the spirituality and now the topic is about seeing Allah and that is supposedly proving his spirituality to us Seeing a physical being <clears throat> is the spirituality for Islam. Isn't it? This is amazing. So I want to show you, I want to show you that in Christianity there's spirituality. I will say to you, they will see Jesus, and that supposedly is spiritual. So if you want to teach your son to be spiritual, you show him Pepsi Cola, and then when he sees Pepsi Cola. He tastes the spirituality. What does this have to do with spirituality? Remember, the topic is proving his spirituality in the heaven of Allah. And then the guy, <clears throat> and by the way, seeing Allah, what do you mean seeing Allah? If you see how you will see Allah, you will die laughing. Allah will show his shin. This is the spirituality. 
Allah is going to show his shin. And this is supposedly proving to us the spirituality of Allah. And just to prove my point, I don't like to say something hmm? <clears throat> without giving a reference. All right. <coughs> the shin of Allah. Do you see the spirituality? We will have shin party. This is a spiritual. So we will be around Allah. And Allah will lift up his skirt and he will show us his shin and all of us we will be like wow and Allah will be singing for us I am sexy and you know it is that a spirituality I'm going to open my Skype Just to give opportunity for any Muhammadan you would like to call us. And remember, you know, please be nice in the text. I we, we, we attack the topic, not people. Allah is not a man, and Muhammad is somebody claimed to be a prophet, so he is a public figure, and he deserves what he got. All right. So who is a Muslim would like to call us? My Skype is open right now. And I will be happy to take you. Anyone? Any Muslim? Until now you Muslim, you show me no spirituality. I see nothing about spirituality. Uh, you yeah. I mean, you know what? There is there is a hadith about spirituality. I, I I think I forgot it. I should not. I think I was trying to hide it. So you guys, <clears throat> I don't see. SS. His name is SS. This is his name, SS. <clears throat> Let me show you some spirituality. Islam is not about uh, the heaven of Allah is full of spirituality. As an example, this one. <clears throat> the message of Allah said, the paradise. In the paradise would be a tent made from a single Hollywood pearl. The breath of which would be 60 miles from the soul side. If, 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 this is a very big spiritual tent. I mean, don't you see the spirituality? What about the hadith? It's saying that Allah will give your wife, or you will give your wives. For their bomb is one mile. لا يسع مقعد مقعدها ميل من الأرض. Her bomb will not fit one mile in the ground. That's spiritual bomb. Come on, size does matter. All of us we like to have women who have a big screen. One mile. This is a spiritual. Therefore, hadith. <clears throat> Maybe the first one is not satisfying in the world of his spirituality. Allah Messenger in paradise, he said. A pavilion made of a single hollow pearl, 60 miles wide in each corner, 
which there are wives who will not see those in the other corner oh. Oh, that's amazing I tent brother let me explain to you brother so you have brother you have a tent have four corners brother and you have a brother wives here those are wives brother oh hold on we make them red I mean I don't know since I'm single I, I don't know I don't remember last time I saw women how look they look like brother okay women they look like this okay those are women brother so those women are in the corner okay and the other women brother in the corner here group brother group and there is women brother in the other corner here I'm very good in the in the drawing uh, you can tell uh, there is a gr every corner have a brother have a have a, a woman and those women brother they don't see each other I mean do you see the do you see the spirituality It's very important, brother, that they don't see each other because if they see each other, they will fight, brother. Yeah, you want me to ask Zach and Nike about this? <clears throat> well, Zach and Nike will give us a very spiritual answer. Actually, he already answered. He said, brother, the brother of the name of Catherine Brent, and he always make fabrication about Islam. The truth about the tent of Allah, we can go to give it in heaven. It's very beautiful. It has four corners. Actually, sometimes they have six corners because it's in the same in the width of David. And you will have in every corner a beautiful woman. And brother, you are going to be busy with your wife. And you don't want the other woman to get jealous. So Allah will not allow the woman in the other corner to see you. Doing boom, boom. And the hero, my sister, you got the point. <clears throat> I mean, do you see how important it is that they don't see each other? Yeah, for sure they will fight, you know, like uh, hello, stop doing their business, boom boom, come here. I like, come on. They will not see the, the, the other corner is so far 60 miles away. This is a spiritual heaven, brother. They are trying to prove to us that the heaven of Allah is full of a spirituality. What else? What else, brother? What else is spiritual Allah will give us in the heaven of his heaven? Let me show you, brother. In the heaven of Allah, brother, the spirituality, not only about corners of the tent, women, they cannot see each other, as you see, and the believers will visit and enjoy. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> spiritual boom, boom, unbelievable. I learned this boom, boom when I was in Asia. Uh, 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 a woman in the street she's a very respectable woman you can tell she said do you want to do boom boom sir I thought she is talking about the music anyway uh, what you can do when you meet the first time when, when an Arab he is a spiritual he think about everything in a spiritual way so I thought maybe she is going to play music for me when she said that do you like to boom boom brother okay <clears throat> and there are two garden Two gardens? Why not? Why two? Only two? And the brother. And the contact of those gardens are made from silver. And the other garden made from gold. Do you see the spirituality, brother? One heaven, everything is made from silver. Another heaven, everything is made from gold. This is very spiritual. And nothing will prevent the people from staying in the Garden of Eden from seeing their Lord except a curtain over his face. Allah will in the burqa. Allah have a curtain over his face. Any Abdul? 
I'm really convinced that Islam is a very spiritual, especially in the heaven of Allah, as the article said to us. Obviously, those Christians are not being fair, and uh, they are not really being decent in their argument. Hmm? The guy is claiming here that the day the Muslims will see a law face is a spiritual thing. This is what happened when you are bankrupt. <clears throat> Spirituality have nothing with seeing physical being. Spirituality about feeling things. Not physically. This is why it's called a spiritual Abdul. But because you are coming from a cult, teach nothing about spirituality. You try to bring us false statement claiming that this is spiritual <clears throat> a brother in the heaven of Allah chapter 56 verse number 25 26 shall we go there I'm just going with the article you know just to see what this guy is saying okay 56 26 25 okay as you wish it will be sorry it's your choice, not mine. Okay. This is the chapter he chose. And this is the spirituality of Allah, a brother. Did you ask yourself why this guy he chose for us a chapter 26 and 25 only? <clears throat> what about the rest? What about the rest? They will say salam salam that's spirituality salam alaikum brother alaikum salam brother that's that's spirituality they will not hear about the stuff of brother that's spirituality let us see the spirituality here we go the verse before it a brother in the garden in paradise a multitude of those the first you know, there's a groups in Islam by the way who will be the first and Allah will make them very white So if you are the best for Allah, you will be very very white and I will show you the reference and Some from the last like some from the beginning some of the last will go into Islam and the brother You will be sitting in your bed. It says here thrones. It's false translation in Arabic. It says Surorin mawduna Suror which is translation saying made from gold but the fact they are not thrown they are beds spiritual this is a spiritual brother a bed made from gold and the brother you will be reclining there on face to face i'm so glad it's face to face not uh, <clears throat> and they will be served by immortal boys do you see the spirituality I mean, isn't it obvious this is all spiritual? You will bring me, you choose for me a chapter saying that Allah will enslave little boys to serve me for eternity. And this is supposedly the chapter you choose to prove to us a spirituality. Any Muhammadan? child abuse this is where we can find the spirituality that we have a god to make me happy in heaven spirituality allah will enslave little boys and by the way do you know who are those boys muhammad he said that those are the children of the jews and the christians yeah you can pause the books no problem And those who like to support us, they knew where to find our uh, donation website in case there is some they want to do so. Is that a spirituality? Boys, 
God cannot make me happy without having little boys who they are my slaves for eternity. How many boys I will have? Let us see. Let us see how many boys. How many boys? Any Muslim have an idea? So we will have a throne <clears throat> or beds. We will recline in the bed facing each other. How nice. And then around us little boys. In different verse, the boys describe them as very white because nobody in heaven of Allah is black, by the way. This is a very racist cult. Everybody have to be white like pro. Now, according to Muhammad, every Muslim or the lowest reward of a Muslim, the lowest, he will have 80,000 little boy slave. How much? 80,000. I mean, do you see the spirituality? Thank you, my friend. We, I love Indonesia too. And this is why I'm trying my best to, uh, to make a certain time for people from Indonesia. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Hello? Eighty thousand spiritual boys are those boys spiritual? <clears throat> Anyone? So when a Muslim he tried to prove to us a spirituality and not only that, you know, again, a lot of women, sex, you know, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will, you will go crazy reading all the reference. Like here, I'm not showing things because uh, if we show how dirty things can go, uh, YouTube already given us hard time. Those who have my book, the last book, two volumes, Sex and Allah, they have all the reference, not all actually, because again, if I want to make all reference about sexuality in Islam, I need to make maybe a thousand book. Because this cult, all of it is about sex. Even those boys, which is in the chapter, it says here, that they will not bleed, the Muslim translation saying, they will not be drunk. But why the boys will be drunk? Who is going to be drunk? Who is the, who is the one is drinking, the boys or the masters? Then what about I live in heaven and I have a river of wine and nobody is serving me? Still is not heaven? Do I have a... I mean, even in heaven there is a slavery. Where is justice? And slavery for who? Little boys? So to make one man happy, you make 80,000 little child jailed enslaved, abused 
for eternity and that's supposed to make you happy as a Muslim and by the way can you imagine what 80,000 child is I mean what they will do exactly for you 80,000 sandwich what does that mean why you need 80,000 little boys <clears throat> there's somebody want to talk to me from the Muslims just give me his uh, Skype please and I will call him anyone Hello, my friend from Senegal. You see how beautiful the internet is? Here we go. We have people from Senegal, Africa. We have people from Indonesia. We have people from Australia. We have people from USA. I mean, from everywhere. Europe, you name it. Glory to the Lord. Who is a Muslim would like to call me, please? To show me spirituality in Islam, which we cannot find. Anyone? Well, I cannot translate to Indonesian. That's what Indonesian should do. You know, Indonesian, feel free, you can don't get, take my videos and you can add subtitle in your language. I wish I speak Indonesian. Maybe I should learn. So we can make better impact for sure if I speak Indonesian. Any Abdul? <clears throat> we have even people from Nepal here or in Nepal. Who is a Muslim would like to call us and show us some spirituality? And then look, the buffet of Allah is very funny. You have a fruit, brother. In the heaven of Allah, you have a fruit. Hmm? And the only meat Allah in his kitchen is birds. Sorry, there's only chicken. There's no shrimp, no lobster, and no beef. I mean, that's it, birds. That's the buffet of Allah. Any Abdul? No, there's only birds, only, uh, 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 you know, meat of birds. And their brother, a brother there will be the female Lahuri's brother. With wide, lovely eyes, a brother. Huh? Really? For sure, we have wine, we have the bed. We have the pillows, we have uh, kids to bring us uh, the, the whatever we want, and now we need the women. Hello, this is all spiritual, brother. This is all spiritual. The women are waiting for you, brother, if you convert to Islam. They asked Zach and Naik, a lady, she asked Zach and Naik, she said, why in Islam a man will get 72 whore, but the women she will not get 72 whore? So Zach and Naik said, Better fitter. The fitter they are with him. Why in Islam did men they will get hur? And women they will get hur. In fact, the word hur is the plural word. And it's male and female. Which means sister, Allah he promised us hur regardless of our gender. Which means sister, I have a good news for you. You will have 70 hur too. But what? Abdul, did you hear what Zakir Naik he said? He said, just your mama, there are 70 men waiting for her to do boom, boom. Your mama, I have a good news for you, brother. What? what? And where, where this guy, he got this from, you idiot? Hold on, we have Faris, the kid is texting me. Is that serious? 
The, the father is the kid. He want to debate me because he is desperately want to debate me. What I can say? Let us call him. If we see. <coughs> hmm, coward. You said they want to debate me in August. Why in August? Debate me now. Potato. Potato. Let me call him again. Answer, answer, Faris. It's okay. I ask, I ask your mom for for permission. Answer, buddy. Come on, be a man. Hmm. You don't answer, Faris. He go to the kitchen now. He will tell his wife, "I will show you a text I sent the Christian prince at Selenius to debate me." Don't show her that Christian Prince he call you and you refuse. You have a meeting with who? With eighty boys, eighty thousand boys. Anyway, so as you see here, the Muslim they choose those to prove to us that we have a spirituality when this is nothing but a heaven of sex. And those women again, they are very white, like preserved pearls. How wide are they? Muhammad in the hadith he said that those women they will be so wide to the point we will see the marrow of their bones. Marrow of their bones. Yes, brother. Are you sure, brother? Yes, brother. I'm very sure. Let us be honest. Don't all men like to see women bones and marrow of their bones? Isn't it this is the most sexy, beautiful thing about women? Look like the one who made this decision. He think that we are a bunch of dogs and we love bones. As I know that the one who like bones is dogs. They bite them, they lick them, but we are a human and she is a human being. So why you promise me to see the marrow of their bones? What I would do with the marrow of their bones? Do you think we are like a German shepherd and you promise me a bone? What is this promise is about? This promise is nothing but a racist promise. Muhammad, he knew that the Arab, they like white women, very white. So he have to promise them something very extreme. Extreme in everything, and specifically in this case, about the whitening or the whitening of this women. Those women, they are so white. And that just to satisfy the Arab mentality of having a very white woman. So she is very white to the point you see the marrow of their bones. But if you think about it, you would think Muhammad is a promising a little puppy some bones so he can eat it and lick it. Because you know this you can seduce a dog with bones, not a human being. Why I want to say this is ugly. This is really what is beautiful for you? Yes. For what he meant, that they are so white, so white to the point they are transparent. And you can see through the flesh of the body. And this is additional proof that Muhammad have nothing to do with calling himself a prophet. It's just a scam. It's a promise of a stupidity, cannot be a promise of somebody truthful. Look at this position. Alhamdulillah. Brother, look at this, brother. Those women are so beautiful. Sorry, I cannot look longer, you know, I mean, look longer because I'm, I'm, I'm single and I will be tempted, you know. And this is uh, very much, too much. 
me turn the fan on I'm getting I'm sweating here this is it's not easy to be single these days I think I'm going to convert to Islam if I don't move those pictures I, I'm trying to move the pictures but they are stuck I cannot move them I mean my hand is not moving because the beauty is striking I like bones who can resist bones especially these days so Muhammad promising me women who we are going to see the marrow of their bones do you think she was going to say uh, sing for you who will be so beautiful do you see the word here they say pure not, not me this is not me this is not me this is the Muslim translation it says pure and transparent be honest you and you and you and you women too hey you women there no no another one the woman he's that she's touching her nose I know you okay now you don't you like to be transparent be honest hey women here do you like to be transparent let me tell you the benefit of being transparent you can go in the airplane and nobody see you you don't pay for a ticket and nobody see you you can open you can go to an open buffet which I love a lot and you can eat as much and nobody can see. but by the way they can see the the hamburger in your stomach but they cannot see you transparent our wife in heaven they will be transparent what is that a jellyfish so you are promising me thousands of women who they are jellyfish Sheikh Rohi how are you Sheikh Rohi sure sure we have our friend Sheikh Rohi he said uh, he want to contact me in pal talk uh, text me Sheikh Rohi Sheikh Rohi if you, in case you do not know him <coughs> if he if he is being honest that is he's the one uh, we we have a many conversation before and he have a supposed to be HD from Lazar University call me Sheikh Rohi you are more than welcome we encourage all sheikhs who have a PhD from the highest school of Islam in the world to call a Christian prince if you have anything to say but last time we have Sheikh Ruhi and he is listening now which is good all of you you witnessed that he could not answer anything really oh in pal talk oh, okay sorry you said I thought you are going to call me in uh, Okay, hold on, Sheikh. Let me open my pato. <coughs> yeah, I forgot. We never spoke in uh, in Skype. We spoke in pato only. <coughs> Invite your friends, guys. Look like things will get exciting. We have Sheikh Rohi. For sure, we will speak to him with a lot of respect. He's a nice gentleman. He's a big Sheikh, and he have a PhD. And as I heard, he have many books too. I'm not sure. I think he said that right. So let us log in pal talk okay Sheikh Ruhi I am in pal talk right now feel free to text me I don't remember your name all right <clears throat> We are waiting for Sheikh Rohi to call. And please show respect to our guest. Anyone who will say bad words to him, we will put to you time out. All right, this is Sheikh Rohi. All right. Let us call him. <coughs> <laughs> Hello. Assalamu. 
وعليكم السلام يا شيخ شخبارك يهرمين شيخ روحي أهلا ازيك عزيزي how are you جدا جدا ممتاز نشكر الرب شيخ روحي uh, everybody we welcome you and uh, people they are listening and uh, maybe you like to share things with us what do you like to say شيخ روحي you are welcome How are you, Baba? I'm fine, I'm fine. Allah fiq, I'm uh, fine. Is, uh, and I, I uh, and I came from YouTube because the device has, I mean, no, no problem. So, Sheikh Rohi, we are talking about we are Fahazir. talking about the heaven of Allah. We are talking about the heaven of Allah. Now, and I see in front of me a hadith. Where the Prophet he promised us women who they are so white to the point we will see the marrow of their bones. Why is that? Yes. Uh, thank you, Christian the Prince. Uh, do you see? Do you hear me? I, uh, I hear you. I hear you. I hear echo. Echo. Uh, maybe hear. your YouTube is still open. So close YouTube. Echo. Or mute YouTube. I think your YouTube is still open. That's why you hear me twice, maybe. Voice is good. Yes, yes, voice is good. Voice is good. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, as to the the woman in the the, the heaven, uh, يعني, uh, that you don't imagine the unlimited ability of God Almighty. So here are laws differ from the earthly laws that known to people uh, in this world. Mm -hmm. This uh, uh, in uh, this physical body which man lives in this ears now will not because he will have a new body differ from uh, this body so Human cannot imagine how it will be with God on the hereafter. <coughs> so uh, God Almighty has uh, infinite things that no human can conceive. But your problem is that you cannot imagine this unlimited abilities you... you uh, uh, maybe uh, confi confine God in person and in a human body this semi-content that makes God's power uh, unlimited mm. uh, okay. so sure. I mean sure. one can't imagine the hereafter well, we can, but we can. whatsoever uh, try to my imagine friend, my friend we can because your prophet he described that even the bones of those women he said they are going to be transparent so you say to me we cannot imagine we can't imagine no the prophet he even described their bones so no we can imagine the question is why why they are so beautiful to the point I can see the marrow of their bones do you think she Syrian women bones marrow inside the bones which means you will see her kidney you will see even the food in her belly you will see everything inside her and then that is supposedly beautiful yes what a problem what a problem what is from uh, but this is ugly uh, this is this is not beautiful here we go if we look at what's up if we look at an x-ray if we look at an x-ray because now we can have this we can look at any x-ray for any woman or any human being and we will see something ugly. This is disgusting. This is not something beautiful. Uh, in the hereafter, the body of this uh, human uh, uh, change and differ in this body. But this metaphor, this metaphor to understand the people in this 
age of the Prophet Muhammad What what metaphor? He's speaking, uh, about, is, uh, speaking about the marrow of the bones. Now, now this is metaphor. You switch this to the metaphor. Do you have any proof that this is a metaphor? This is not a metaphor. This is about physical women. You will sleep with her, have sex with her. Are you going to have sex with this woman or this is something virtual? Yes. Well, what's the problem? This. Uh, okay. So the problem uh, is why he is why he is obsessed one, with not, the white color. Uh, they are so white to the point we can sue the marrow of their bones. What if I like to be to have a, a black woman? What's wrong with the black woman? Why in heaven of Allah, all of them they are white like pearls, and they are so white to the point we see the marrow of their bones. What if I like a darker skin? What if I like an Asian woman? What's the problem? Why they have to be very white and they are extremely white to the point we can see the mirror of their bones? Is that because Muhammad is an Arab man speaking to Arab men who like Arab white women? No, no. Uh, it is that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam want to said uh, to people that in the hereafter the woman uh, was very beautiful. Uh, one cannot imagine the hereafter whatsoever uh, try to imagine if you uh, mm. if you describe the sexual pleasure uh, felt by adult to five years old can you can that child imagine it no he cannot imagine it uh, uh, he describe it as well um, as man because in the hereafter will be things which no eyes has seen no ear has heard no human heart has ever uh, perceived uh, so when God speaks of paradise is to us the likeness of the garden the likeness promised to the righteous in the uh, in it are rivers of pure water say it is the garden and says they were only given a a simulation of it so it is uh, the, the sexual in the the, the in the heaven hmm. but you know you see i listen to you to the end but you gave me no answer because all what you are saying to me well, allah will give us something beauty and this beauty is someone we will see the marrow of their bones and this is ugly for sure now you know if we if we ask a muslim uh, uh, what is a beauty he will say to us about the heaven he will say the heaven nobody can describe even the Quran says that so if nobody can describe so why the Quran saying we will be sitting in the couches facing each other even he described the, the color of the clothes we will be wearing the wine we will uh, 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 drinking uh, uh, he described everything you say nobody can describe the heaven but the heaven described in very very clear details in the Quran so why must them they say to us why my throne in heaven is going to be so big to the point it is 70 mile big and why my tent is 60 mile or 70 mile you know one of the hadith your prophet he said that the bedroom of a muslim is going to be from yemen all the way to syria is that true where the hadith uh, my friend more uh... Can you read the hadith, please? Yeah, here we go. I will read it for you in Arabic, and then you, you can go and get us, uh, then I will show a translation. Adna ahlu jannah al-ladhi al-ladhi lahu thamanuna alfa khadim wa ithnatani wa sab'una zawja wa tunsabu lahu qubbatun min lu'lu' wa zabarjad wa yaqud kama bayna jjabiyya ila sana'a. Go ahead. This is a bedroom, more than a thousand and five hundred kilometers. Uh, have a little hadith uh, this hadith not uh, in the hadith this is uh, in the tafsir and this is uh, no my friend no my friend you are talking to christian prince a weak talk. hadith okay so it's a weak hadith so we what we would do now so we who is weak here the, the prophet is weak the muslims is weak islam is weak and by the way how it's weak and it is in jami al turmudi jami al turmudi is the book of sahih uh, so when I see in the Jama'a Turmuzi, I will uh, research and... Hmm. Okay, let us show you something else. Forget about this one. Forget about this one. If we ask you about the promise of Allah to us in the heaven, that says in the Quran, 
that each one of us will have little boys who will serve us. Those are the boys from who, where, where they are coming from. It is created from God. This little boys, it is created from God. This is as a serve, a serve, uh, a slave, or a serve to the uh, uh, righteous in the in the hereafter. God not, can create these boys. What's the problem in this? So Allah create boys, little boys, just to be slaves for me. Yes, why not? Why you limited your uh, God? Is that, is that fair? Why do you, you limit like, like to be? God? Do you like to be? Do you like to be uh, a little boy serving somebody in heaven? Is that fair? Why? Why? Why Allah? Will he abuse little children just to make them serve uh, Mr. Sheikh uh, Rohi? Do you like that? You don't, you don't feel guilty? Uh, maybe to. Uh, to. Uh, يعني 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 like to see the boys. Uh, so, God. So, you like. Uh, you, you, like, you, like you like boys. Uh, you see, you Muslims, you like boys. No, like to serve. Not like to serve. Well, this well, is what okay, the Quran. Well, but don't you think this is sick? To like, to, it, that you like boys to serve. What does that mean? You know, they are boys. How? What boys can do? Boys, they need somebody to serve them. They are boys. Yes. Uh, what the Quran said. Sawani. What Quran said. Yatuf. Lahza. Uh, 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 that in uh, this boy is uh, serve the the righteous in the hereafter. Hmm. And what what is the beauty about that? Uh, so when I read what the interpreter said in this uh, yeah. this This a problem and so I'm sorry, sorry. No problem, no problem. Oh, Tufa Alehim will then Muhammadun be a quabariq, be a quabin or a barriq. Yani, when I call a tobari. Uh, buy a glasses and uh, serve the, the righteous. Hmm. And what is, what is beautiful about that? Well, you see, in the heaven, Rohi, uh, supposedly, if you wish to have a dish in front of you, it's going to be just basically say, say uh, you know, a bit, uh, like uh, in the name of Allah, correct? So, why you need a servant? And you will not get dirty. You will not need a shower. Your clothes will never be dirty. Will never be a ruin. They will never have a wrinkle. So why? What that boys will do? Have, uh, have this boys uh, as a serf, as a serf. But what uh, will do? I mean, if, if everything uh, on, if as, has nothing to do. I mean, what serf serve you in what? They will just uh, g uh, bring a cup of uh, wine to you, right? That's their duty, and you are having sex. So you are having sex with a lot of women, and there's little boy next to you in the bed holding cups of wine. No, no. Uh, uh, you must image uh, the the hereafter. I know you this is the hereafter. Doesn't matter. Is it? Is, are, aren't the, you going to have sex in the hereafter, my friend? Yes or no? Uh, 
uh, as to this, I said uh, uh, it's a problem in this. Okay, I'm, I'm saying to you, is, is, so you are saying there's no problem that there's 80,000 little boy around your bed and you are having sex with a lot of women. And those boys, each one of them is holding a cup of wine for you. And they are watching you having sex. No, no, no. How are they watching you? So what How do you mean? They no, they are around you. They are around you. They are your servant. There's no other servant. They are little boys. And they are having sex. Here we go. It says reclining in your throne. And with you, there is women. Huruain in the throne, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the bed. And they are very wide. And who is the one serving you when you are with your women? The boys. So the, the women there in the heaven of Allah, they are just to take off their panty and the boys is just to serve you. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So one, one second, one minute. I want to see the voice, the Rico. I will solve the problem and uh, return one minute. Oh, okay. please. No problem, no problem. This is the spirituality of Allah. 80,000 little boys, slavery. And what their duty is to serve this guy, the sheikh with long beard. Wine. That's what he's saying to us. And he's saying, what's the problem? child abuse and the one we are talking with is Dr. Rohi he is a sheikh he have a PhD from the highest Islamic school in the world Al-Azhar University Yes, Shake. Uh, I did a question. Yes. How is my voice now? Your voice is fine, no problem. <coughs> we are waiting you for you to talk. Uh, so what's your... Uh, my problem is, can that's what I can, I can't person? Allah make me happy without having those boys. So look what we have here. The heaven of Allah is nothing but a, 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 like a Las Vegas casino, full of prostitutes, women I never met, I never saw, I never heard of. They do not know me, I don't know them. They don't even know their names. Those women, they are ready for me just for sex. In the top of that, there is a bedroom which is so huge in the size of two countries. And there's thousands of women waiting for me. And those women, they are so white to the point we can see through the marrow of their bones. In the top of that, this God, he have, he believe or teach. He promised a child abuse for little children to be slaves for eternity. And you are telling me what's the problem? Sorry. Can you read the first, please? Can you read the first? Which verse you like me to read? That uh, speak about uh, six and the, the heaven. Well, there is many of them. We can go to different chapter, like this one. We spoke. You already read from. We can go to chapter thirty-seven. Let's go to chapter thirty-seven. 
because that one is uh, is uh, more into details. <coughs> You will see here that you are going to have, and by the way, I don't know why, why your God, he kept repeating himself. I mean, he just said that in the other chapter. So what the point? I do not know. Which, yeah, which verse, please, in chapter 37? Chapter 37, you can go and read it from uh, 43. 43, 44. Is there, is there a repeat? Four. Is there a repeat of chapter 56? Proving again that Muhammad... Yeah, 43, chapter 37. You can read from 43, 44. This is because this is when we start speaking about heaven in 43. Figen, and then you will see. You will be, at nine in the yeah, garden be, of uh, uh -huh, place. Uh -huh. and, and the then, garden of. Uh, right. And then the boys will serve them, right? And the boys will not bleed. Ala surah al mutaqabilin. Yeah. Who is the one who will not in the thrones facing each other? Hmm. Who is the one who will not bleed? The Muslims or the boys? Both of them, chapter 56, verse number 19, and chapter 37, verse number 47, both of them it says, Yenzifun. Yenzifun means bleed. Who is going to be not to be bleeding? The boys or the men? The men, the men, what uh, now I translate hmm. what's meaning of uh, Yanzifun yeah. in English. Hmm. So, no? well, you speak Arabic, you speak Arabic. Arabic. Nazif, Nazif means bleeding, is that correct? You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. Yenzifun is a verb. Yes, yes. Uh, it is, uh, there is, uh, there shall be no uh, trouble in it, nor shall they be exhausted uh, therewith. Who, but it says This Yenzifun. is the translation Yenzifun, of this. Forget about translation. This is all fabrication. You know that. The word Yenzifun means bleeding. You know that. I know that. And you agree that the word Yenzifun means bleeding. Who is going to be not to bleed? The men or the children? Oh, the men or the men. Okay, so the men, they will not bleed from what? So I'm going to read the Tafsir. I'm going to read the Tafsir. Yanzifun, so I'm going to read the Tafsir. So I'm uh, there, so I'm my friend. No problem. That I uh, read in the, the tafsir, so I'm. Hmm. Please, which I had in the phone. It doesn't matter. It is chapter 56, verse number 19, or you can choose. Yeah, I choose this one. Let me go with this one. Chapter 56, verse 19. Okay. 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 What said the in the phone? So, yeah, Sheikh, you are a Sheikh, you have a PhD, and uh, are you serious? You do not know what Yenzi phone me? Make a sentence for me in Arabic. I want that, to say, uh, Sheikh, Sheikh, no, no, make I, a sentence for me in Arabic that somebody, uh, uh, I, will, I will make a sentence you translate, huh? 
نزف مني الدم اوكي آه لا وات ينزفون ينزفون يعني لا تذهب لا تذهب عقولهم ولا يعني تزيد اموالهم أوكي. ولا تهضم صحتهم لا تضيع هولد اون هولد اون بهذا بواد سو هولد اون سو يو ار سين تو مي هي از سين ذا وورد بليدين بات هي مينت باي ذات ذير برين ويل نوت بليد ذير هيلث ويل نوت بليد وات از ذات مين Why he chose this word? Al-Nazf huwa, if you want to answer you in Arabic, Al-Nazf that huwa al-dayaa, al-zahab. La yanzifoon, la tadiyya sahatuhum, la yadiyya minhum. Don't lost of anything in the hereafter as the word, this word. So what see is Ibn Kaseer? سواني أقرأ لك what ابن كثير said in this statement means that it doesn't change their sense of reasoning Allah's statement. This is what said in ابن كثير and said all. Well, ابن كثير another ابن كثير trying to cover a problem because isn't your prophet he says that Muslim when he go to heaven. He will go to the bazaar, to the mall, and this mall have pictures and images of men and women for sex. And if a man he like an image of a man, he jump in it and he have sex with it. Did your prophet says that or no? Where the where he said that? سواني أقرأ لك ما قال ابن كثير. Meaning they will never get headache. I know what ابن كثير said. ابن كثير is a big fabricator. Even he deny the story of al-Qur'aniq. And you know that al-Qur'aniq it's it's exist in the in the Quran. He deny what is even written in the Quran. Read with me carefully. Muhammad says, indeed in paradise there is a market in which there is no buying nor selling except for images of men and women. So whenever a man, he desire an image, he enter it. What you will do with the image, Dr. Rohi, after you enter the image? Uh, do you want me to read the hadith for you in Arabic? Yes, for uh, Arabic, which book uh, this hadith is uh, there, the, this hadith? We can find it in many books, whatever you wish. In the Jannah of the Suqa, ma fiha shira, wala baya, illa suwar, min al-rijali wa al-nisa, fa'idha shtaha al-rajru suwara, dakhla fiha. Translation, indeed, in paradise, there is a market, which there is no buying nor selling, except for images of men and women, so whenever a man desire an image, he enter it. What do you do when you enter the image of a man? What do you do exactly with this man? Uh, week, had week. This is in uh, Musnad Ahmad. Anything, anything we say. And this is anything this we week, say. It's embarrassing. This week. Anything we say, it's embarrassing. It's weak. Okay, but do you, don't you know that week is accepted, Sheikh? You are a Sheikh. A graduate from Azhar, you know, Al Mul Hadith. Even weak Hadith is accepted. That's why it's called weak. Even if it's weak, because weak means it has a rank, it's not rejected. The Hadith there is Sahih. No, no. no absolutely. What are you talking about? Weak Hadith is accepted. So Muslims, in order, As, uh, in order to okay, hold on. When you say weak, does that mean it is bad, it's rejected, or it's mean it is possibly true? So, so I know. Are you sure you are the one who have a PhD, not me? Uh, Come on, Sheikh. Weak hadith. Is it possibly accepted, possibly to be true? Or totally false. Totally false. This hadith and if the hadith is weak, we don't uh, take from hadith al uh, and يعني our uh, belief in this hadith. But in the that's, that's funny. Isn't it okay. Hadith. When you when you oh you say only what you like. As you do what he said, he says we take only what we think is good, what we think it is it it is good.
So you are saying to me, you choose your cherry, whatever you like, you like, you don't like, you, 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 so you say, I'm going to reject it because this is embarrassing, right? So I know my friend. There's a sheikh, his name is Sheikh Hassan. Hadith, I don't weak. know if you know him. He said, those Muslims who say weak hadith, they have a weak argument. He said that. I can even play the video for you. Those Muslims who say weak hadith, they have a weak argument because weak hadith did not flunk. It passed. I'm just quoting him exactly what he said. Yes, we weak hadith in this uh, We don't. Hmm. Weak hadith is uh, our religion. Well, is the Quran but weak hadith? Is, book, but is the Quran is the, uh, is the Quran weak hadith? <coughs> Sheikh, are you there? Hello. Uh, I, I lost you. Do you is, hear me? Is the Quran mm -hmm. weak? Is the Quran weak hadith? No. Okay. You got the Quran. No, no. The Quran, Quran you recite not. today is is the recitation of Hafs, correct? Yes. Okay. Isn't it Hafs accused by Muslim that he is a fraud and he's a liar, and his hadith is rejected? So how you you refuse his hadith, but you accept his Quran? If he is a friend. no no hadith, Hafs Hafs was Hafs a Who accuse who was, who was accuse Hafs? Who accuse Hafs? Who accuse Hafs? Everybody. Yeah. Yes. Everybody. Are you sure? How? Okay. Here we go. Uh, Doctor Doctor yeah. Rohi. Now he is saying that he never heard that Hafs is a liar and he is the Quran he have. Is coming from a liar. Let us read together. Here we go. I'm going to show you the reference in the screen. Al Bukhari, at Tariq al Kabir, variant number two, page number 363. And you speak Arabic. Hafs ibn Sulaiman al Asadi, Abu Amr al Qari, and Al Qama, etc., and Asim Taraku, Wahua Hafs Abi Abu Dawood al Kufi, Al Bukhari, at Tariq al Sagir, variant number two, 233. Hafs ibn Sulaiman, etc., said, and then he says, and Asim wa Alqama, etc. He said, Munkar al Hadith. We continue. Then, Al Bukhari, Al Du'afa, page number 35. It says, Taraku, wa qala ibn Hanbal, qala Yahya, akhbarani shaba, qala, akhada minni hafsun binu Sulaimani kitaban, falam yarudduhu, wa kana yakhudu kutubun nasi fayan sahuha. So he's accusing him that he's a fraud. He copied the book of people and he claimed that those his book. Let us continue. Al Alabani is the Sunan al Turmudi. Imagine, look at this. Then they accuse Hafs that he fabricated a hadith about the fire or, uh, 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 about the fire from the mouth of the Prophet. Sunan Ibn Majah, hadith number 216, number 38, Mushkat al Masabih, 2141, Da'if al al Saqir, 5761. And all of those saying that he is a liar and he is a fabricator. Al Alabani, Rawul Ghalil, variant number one, page number two sixty. An Omar, هذا هو حفص بن سليمان القارئ الكوفي وهو متروك الحديث. Can you translate to us what متروك الحديث? متروك الحديث means that his hadith is garbage. Is that correct? No, no. As as to حفص. As to Hafs, what said Ibn Al Gawzi as كان ثبتا في القراءة وهيا في الحديث لأنه كان يتقن الحديث هو يتقن القرآن ويجوده هذا 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 ما قال عنه. What do you mean? He can يتقن الحديث. Either you know the hadith or you do not know. So why he's lying? So he's lying. Read with me carefully. وقال الساجي عن أبو عن عن أحمد ابن محمد البغدادي عن ابن معين. كان حفص أبو بكر ومن أعلم الناس بقراءة عاصم 
وكان حفص اقرا من ابو بكر وكان كذابا and he was a liar so you are saying to me that his hadith is rejected because he is a liar but you accept the quran from a liar not كذابا ليس على حفص no حفص is the كذاب no حفص is the كذاب وكان كذابا he's saying كان حفص وابو بكر من اعلم الناس بقراءه عاصم وكان حفص اقرا من ابي بكر وكان كذابا come on you speak arabic I mean, yes. come on. So, is uh, it, is it now, who narrated this? Who narrated this hadith? Asaji. Narrated. Asaji. 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 We showed you. Even, we showed you Muslim. Yeah, yes, yes. Muslim. 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 قال متروك. قال عنه بتروك. قال البخاري تركوه. قال الجوزاني. وقد فرغ منه الدر الدهر. وقال ابن المديني ضعيف الحديث وتركته على عمد. وعن أبي حاتم عن عبد الله عن أبيه متروك الحديث. Al Bazaz, all of them they say that he's a liar. So you Muslims taking the Quran from a liar. Do you have the Quran of Hafs? Do you have a book? Listen, listen to me. Uh, uh, listen Dr. to Rahi, me. Do you have do you have a book written by the hand of Hafs? It's called Quran. No. Uh, listen to listen to me. Ittiham Ibn Ma'in has an ittiham man cool narrated on Ibn Adi. قال حدثنا أحمد ابن محمد البغدادي قال سمعت يحيى ابن معين يقول كان حفص بن سليمان وأبو بكر بن عياش من أعلم الناس بقراءة عاصم وكان حفص أقرأ من أبي بكر وكان أبو بكر صدوقا وكان حفص كذابا Now if we look at this narrated from ابن معين هو ابن محرز أحمد ابن محمد البغدادي this uh, is this uh, narrated thiqa if this is or uh, uh, this is from uh, disciple ibn ma'in wafaqu ala hadha al-naql najid anna al-rawi'a najid anna al-rawi'a ibn ma'in ibn muhriz ahmad ibn al-baghdadi maghul lam yazkur yani lam yuzkar hadha al-shakhs fi kutub al-darh wa al-ta'deel wa lam yazkur fi la darhan wa la ta'deelan fa huwa maghul al-hal I call for you al-bukhari ahmad ibn hanbal ahmad ibn hanbal Sahih Muslim and Nisai, Kitab al Du'afa, Hafsu, all of them they are saying, not one person. Look how many names. Waqala al Bukhari Taraku, Waqala Muslim Matru, Waqala Nisai Raisa Bithika, Wayaktibu Hadithahu, Waqala Fi Mouda and Akhir Matruku Hadith, Waqala Salih Ibn Muhammad, Ibn Muhammad, La Yuktabu Hadithahu, Wa Hadithuhu Kulla Manakir, Waqala Saji, Yuhadithu, etc., Wa Hadithi Bawatil. قال أبو زرعة ضعيف الحديث قال أبي أبي حاتم لا يكتب حديثه his hadith is is a is a lie we don't even write it down كذاب قال ابن خراج كذاب متروك متروك يضع الحديث he is a liar and his hadith is rejected and he fabricate hadith قال أبو أحمد الحاكم ذاهب الحديث قال يحيى بن سعيد عن شعبة أخذ مني حفص بن سليمان كذا كتابا فلم يرده وكان يأخذ كتب الناس فينسخها. So he is a fraud. He he take books of people and he 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 write it down, claim it for himself. So I'm, I can quote for you all those references. Look how many. It's endless. Ibn Habban. All of them they are saying حفص بن سليمان كذاب. He is a liar. كان يقلب الأساني. Read with me carefully. وعن وقال وقال etc etc كان يقلب الأسانيد ويرفع المراسيل وكان يأخذ كتب الناس فينسخها ويرويها من غير سماع لنفسه. So how you say? And let me ask you: Is this hadith is accepted by you? Read the hadith. من قرأ القرآن وحفظه أدخله الله الجنة وشفعه في عشرة من أهل بيته. كلهم قد استوجبوا النار. It is a hadith week. It is a hadith week. But it, why it's week? This week hadith. Why it's week? Is that because it's Hafs saying the hadith? No, no. So I need to discuss what uh, about Hafs, about you said about Hafs. <coughs> Everyone who نقل تكذيب ابن معين لحفص وابن محرز المجهول الحال بينما الذين لم يذكروا التكذيب أكثر يعني كل من ترجم لحفص 
من أئمة الجرح والتعديل تطرقوا إلى ضعفه في الحديث وإمامته في القرآن ولم يشر أحد منهم إلى اتهامه بالكذب هناك بين أهل الحديث بين الراوي المتروك وبين الراوي المتهم بالكذب يعني الترك متعلق بضبط الراوي لكن الكذب متعلق بعدلة الراوي يعني إذا الراوي إن كان ضابطا لحديثه All of those uh, scholars who they are the, the, the top of Islam, they said he is rejected. Now, I have a challenge for you. Can you show me one hadith which is written by Hafs is Sahih? Just one. Just for my education. He I, want is awake. I want to learn from you. He he is a weak in hadith, but not even one hadith. The, the, Quran, guy, remember, the one who gave you the Quran, not even one hadith of his is. You are the one who said to me that weak hadith is rejected uh, five minutes ago. Now you are saying to me that all the weak of Asim is a lie. So this guy, he could not bring one true hadith, just one, just for fun. Who is going to believe in this? So, so you are saying to me, I cannot so find you one report from uh -huh. Aslam which is not a lie. That's what you just said. I said to you, give me just one hadith. Aslam, he said, it is not a lie. You said to me, no, all of them, they are a lie. As to, as to Hafs, what said of uh, many scholars about Hafs? I just told uh, you, he's a liar. All of them, just for, يعني للمثال مثلا مثلا وكيع بن الجراح ماذا قال عنه وهو متوفى سنة 196 هجرية قال مات قريبا من سنة 90 و100 قال وكيع كان ثقة مثلا سعد بن محمد بن الحسن العوفي تلميذ حفص نقل الخطيب البغداد عن مجاهد قال حدثنا محمد إلى آخره كان لو رأيته قرت عينك به علما وفهما الإمام أحمد بن حنبل الإمام أحمد بن حنبل your answer will prove the opposite because if we cannot find one صحيح حديث from حفص that means he's a liar and you just said you cannot find one صحيح حديث from him just one I mean, is it amazing? Like, let's imagine, Dr. Rohi, you live and you are now 60 years old. In the 60 years of your life, you could not remember one correct narration from your prophet, which is true. All you remember the lies. Isn't it obvious that he is a fraud? Imagine you are 60 years old, and then I say to you, tell me one true story from the prophet. And all the story you tell me, it's a lie, it's rejected. So what do you mean? That there is others. They say he's a good man. Let us get, let us keep going. Doctor Rohi, listen. We are talking about the heaven of Allah, and you say to us in the heaven of Allah, there is a drink. Muslims they will not get a drunk, as you claim, and women they will be there having sex. And those women are created for the men. Are they created from a flesh like a human? Are they human? Those women. Yes, uh, like a human. Hmm. Sure. Like Okay. God uh, created women like a human. As how is Allah going to have sex with them? How? No, Allah, no, Allah, no. How? What? What you say? How yeah, Allah who have okay. sex with? Chapter twenty-one, chapter twenty-one, verse number seventeen, doesn't say that if Allah. And let us read in Arabic, so we don't go with the game of the translation, which is all a lie. لو أردنا أن نتخذ لهوا what the word lahu mean in Arabic? Allah speaking, saying if we want to take a partner, we will take it lahwa, we will take a lahu from ourselves if we want to do that. What is the lahu? Allahu هو الشيء الذي يضيع يعني يجعل الإنسان يضيع العمل الجد. اللهو هذا هو اللهو no, هذا is, هو اللهو is, في اللغة العربية. This is an average answer for somebody is not educated. You are a person who have a PhD in Islam from Azhar University. How you come with such an answer? Lahu in Arabic is women. Never. Never. Do you want to challenge me, Doctor Roy? Do you want to challenge me? Yes, where, where this? Okay. Can you uh, give me a dictionary said that okay. Lahu okay. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the thing is, you are saying to me never. Okay.
Let us see. <clears throat> Can you see my page? Can you see my... Uh, no, no, I don't... Okay. All right. Let's see. Can you read it, please? All right. We will see here. This is... Uh, Kitab Al-Itqan Fi Ulum Al-Quran. I'm sure you heard of the name of the book, correct? Yes. Okay. He says, Lahu is the women in the, the tongue of the people of Yemen. No, I want a dictionary that said the lahu uh, is the okay, women okay, and hold the women. Uh, okay, you are the Quran one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Ulum al-Quran leysa So now uh, the, the tafsir, the books of tafsir are not accepted by Dr. Rohi. Is that what you are saying? Yes, one of the interpreters said this. What do you this, mean, one? Which, but, one? Uh, which one? It is not true. Not, which one? All of them, they say well, the same. It is not true. Which, so, uh, now... What do you mean, not true? Do, do you know, okay, who is your favorite interpret, uh, interpretation? Who is your favorite scholar? One of... Uh, now I uh, want to read to you from Ibn Kathir what said about uh, this. Uh, yeah. Okay, you want to so read from I mean, Ibn Kathir. Are you sure? Okay, read for me from Ibn Kathir. No problem. I searched that. Because Ibn Kathir, my friend, agree with me. And you have no idea what you just did. Ibn Kathir, agree with me. I just told you, all the scholars agree with me. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, read it. Had we indeed to take uh, Abbas time, we could uh, surely have taken it from us if we were going to do that. Ibn uh, Najih said in narrating from Mujahid. So this is Ibn Kasir said, uh, had we indeed to take uh, Abbas time. Abbas time. Mm. Abbas time. And what the word this lahu? This is the, the meaning don't, of... Don't skip the word. What the word lahu in the book of Ibn Kathir? Does it mean, does it mean a woman? Yes. And this... Uh, yes, yes, but you said never. Uh, a second ago, Dr. Rohi, aren't you the one who said never? Now you said yes. So Ibn Kathir agree with me that the word lahu mean a woman. You don't say it, and I uh, search and okay, okay, well, well, uh, verse. All right, and then if, if, you, verse. if you don't say that, let us see if he say that or not. Uh, what he call, give me, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, I will put it for you. I will put it for you, and he just read. My friend, if we wanted to take it from Ibn Najih, it means from our friend, 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 it يعني من عندنا يقول وما خلقنا جنة ولا نارا ولا موتا ولا بعثا ولا حسابا وقال الحسن وقتادة لو أردنا أن نتخذ لهوا اللهو المرأة بلسان أهل اليمن This is a big theme my friend So why you are saying to me it doesn't say that Yes and Ibn Kathir also said وقال عكرمة والسدي المراد باللهو ها هنا الولد وهذا الذي قبله متلازمان هنا ماذا قال وقول لو أراد الله أن يتخذ ولد hold on hold on so you are saying to me in the Arabic language you said in the beginning never the word له mean women and now you are saying it might be it mean ولد correct this is what it says this is what you say okay so it's it mean women but you said to me never but you said to me never but you said never but you said never 
Yes, I said never in the dictionary. Can you no, search my friend, the dictionary, the dictionary as you search? Yeah, this is from the dictionary too. Because Ibn Kathir is getting it from where? From his pocket. Uh, Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari. All of them they are coming saying that who is the word mean women? Now let me ask you. You said you said that it it might mean they are not sure that some they say he wanna take a woman, some they say he wanna take a son. But the verse says there he will take it from ourselves. How I asked you, are they those are human? You said yes. So how Allah will take partner from ourself, but that you are the human? If Allah consider those women ourself, that means ourself, Allah is one of many other human. They are like him. He called them ourself, correct? Uh, so from Lahu and the uh, dictionary, please. Can you search about uh, well, my friend? Why you want to word Lahu in okay. the dictionary? All right. So you, you are saying now Ibn Kathir, he don't understand Arabic? Are you saying that? You are the one who chose Ibn Kathir and now you don't want Ibn Kathir. Is that what you are saying? Ibn Kathir so not saying so this. Ibn Kathir, he, he, he narrated, he narrated I should, I should, a lot saying from Ibn Kathir, we know, but he is saying that in his book. And this is not only him, it shows different uh, interpretation, and I will show you the same. So what we ah, do now? There, uh, there, uh, another, another, there is another saying, hmm. what, why you not uh, take this? Hmm. Now, now I open the dictionary, okay. the dictionary online, hmm. a Muslim, you know this, hmm. a Muslim in the, <coughs> Lahu, Masalan, Lahu, hmm. Amusement, destruction, the different, the version, entertainment. Hmm. Entertainment. Allah will take entertainment. Okay. Now listen, Sheikh. This is the dictionary, and this is Al Mu'jam Al Wasit. In the front of your phone, uh, Basi. Okay. This is Al. This is al This is Qamus Al Mu'jam Al Wasit. ومعنى له المعجم الوسيط اللسان العرب القاموس المحيط قاموس عربي عربي all the dictionary you wish to have it says in the front of us له المرأة الملهوة بها a woman which you play by her which means sex it's in the front of you in the screen don't tell me now you do not know Arabic and this is the dictionary you are asking me to show. No, no, this is in the, in the, uh, the dictionary is in front of me. Allahu ma ma la'ib ma la'ib tabihi wa shagalaka min hawan wa tarab wa nahwihima. True, true, but what is meant in the Quran, Allah will take it as a partner, so he cannot take party as a partner. So you have to find the, what, what he meant. He's talking if you want to take a partner, well, are you saying lahu mean party and Allah will take a partner party? He will partner with Mr. Party. Is that a person? So Allah saying, if I want to take a partner, I will take a lahu. So lahu have to be a person, not a party, not just something fun, a person. And it says in the front of us in the dictionary, and this dictionary you choose, al mara al malhu biha. And Ibn Kathir, uh, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain, all of them, they say the same. Let me open Al-Jalalain. I will put it in English in the front of everybody so everybody will see that you are trying to escape the disaster. Allah is saying, if I want to have sex, I will have sex with women who they are like us. Like us, from us. So the Muslim, they claim that Allah is one and no one like Allah. And then we find that Allah, he have us and he is going to have sex with the women of the heaven. And who was the one saying that? Is that Christian Prince interpretation? No. This is your interpretation, your scholars. And let me put it in the screen and I will make you, Dr. Rohi, if you don't mind, please, to read for us. And it's in English. I will show it in yes. English. So everybody will see. Here we go. This is Tafsir Jalalain. And it is in the screen. Read for us, Dr. Rohi. I will give you the link. If you want, you can open the link in your browser. Here we go. I will send it to you and you're in the in, in okay. Here we go. Open it. 
it says had we desire to find some diversion that which provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child we would have a found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed huris or angels do you see it I open the So when I open the link. No problem. This the line? Yes. The, to find to find uh, some uh, diversion uh, that which provides uh, diversion and the way of uh, partner or, or a child we would found it with uh, ourselves from among the beautiful eyes uh, hordes or angel are we to do hmm. so but uh, the so the lahu is the hori the lahu is the horis correct you are denying this all this time and all the scholars including ibn kathir they are oh, saying this is and this is uh, uh, all of them in dictionary saying that the word lahu is women for sex. So Allah is saying if you want to have sex, you will have sex with the women from the heaven. How that is possible? This is no Now I what from uh, other seer of Masalna Tafsir Tafim Al Quran. My friend, you know, this you, was know, you, know, you, know you know, you know, you know, Dr. Rahim, you are being funny now, with no respect to you. Tafhim al-Quran, written by whom? A guy who was born yesterday, now he explained the Quran. Maybe you can make a book better than him. We are talking about the Jalalain, you quote for me Tafhim al-Quran. This book is written by who, Tafhim al-Quran? Yes, by, by Mickey Mouse? So you are, you are a person who have a PhD, and then you quote for me someone who says stupid things, he is not a scholar, and nobody even agree with him, just because you are trying to avoid the point. Ibn Kathir, Ajal Alain, Al Qutubi, uh, At Tabari, everybody no, no, saying that this is a woman, a big, a big, and those uh, are, is Ajal Alain a scholar or he's not? But not all this Al Jalal Alain, Wat Tabari, Wabn Kathir, not accepted on one, uh, a few They accepted, they accepted, my friend, here we go, this is Ibn Kathir. Ibn uh, Kathir is woman. quoting, Ibn Kathir is quoting all the opinion. He is not rejecting any. He is just quoting for you. This guy, he said, it's meant this. This guy, he said, it's meant that. And the other one, he says, no, it was the women. So he is quoting for you opinion. It's not Ibn Kathir explaining. And the same for Ajalalain. This is what it's meant. This is what Ibn Ajlalain is saying. Tafsir al Tabari is the same. So you are trying to avoid the problem. Allah is saying He will take a partner, and this partner is a woman. And He called that woman ourself. If Allah is one, how He call women ourself? What ourself mean? Min ladunna. Ourself. How those women became ourselves? Yes. Okay. Is it, are are those women from the kind of Allah? Maybe from His family or His tribe? No, no, no. God want to see to us to be to to people that He is not uh, like a human. Not He not, He need to anything as a human. So if He want to take anything to pass time, He want He will, don't need people no, don't need a human uh, don't need what do you mean he don't you need to he said, he said, help you he said, he said if we want we will take this he just told you he would that if he wish this is this is he's saying if i wish i would do that so he chose from who he says i will take them from the Huri. so you cannot so, deny saying he will not because so he so he don't, he's too, he don't wish. He don't wish. In kunna fa'irin, if don't we wish. want, he did, he, not say, he did not say I don't. He said in kunna fa'irin, if we want to do that. However, it's an option. So if he want to do that, if we want to do that, we will do it. We will take it from those women. Now, why he called this women ourselves? Regardless, he wish or not. 
if I call you, if I call those people ourselves, that means they are from my kind. You see, when I say ourselves, we are talking about us, maybe as a family, maybe as a tribe. Like maybe two tribes are talking to each other. One of them, he says, ourself, we don't agree with yourself. So when Allah says ourself, speaking about taking a partner, he is not speaking about himself only. He's speaking about a group which is covered by an umbrella, which is ourself. So in order for those women to be from considered from the ourself, they have to be from the same kind of Allah. What uh, said the tafsir? فبين تبارك وتعالى كيف يفعل الله لو أراده ولا خلاف أنه تبارك وتعالى لا يريد ذلك ولا يفعله. فإذا هذا ما قاله المفسرون لا خلاف بين ذلك أنه لا يريد ذلك ولا يفعله. The tafsir says to that Allah, if you want to have a sex, He will have it with the women. That's possible. Then it's about if He wish or not. So, and he called those women ourselves. So Allah is not what the Muslim they claim. He is a monotheist. He, the oneness of Allah, we go, he called a group of females who they are made for sex. And I ask you, are they human? You say yes. Those are hoary. How Allah is saying it is possible if you want to take a partner, he will take her from a human. She is a hoary made just for sex. In this, uh, in kunna fa'ileen, mm. wa ma kunna fa'ileen. Mm. The meaning if wa in kunna fa'ileen, wa ma kunna fa'ileen. Mm. Huna al-ga'a bima'na al-sharb, yani taqdeer al-kalam, law kunna lattakhazna. Okay, well, law kunna uh, lattakhazna. Uh, where, it says, Huna, where it says, wa ma kunna fa'ileen. It doesn't say that. Are you, kunna, are you adding words? Wa ma kunna fa'ileen, tafsir, yes. Do you want uh, the tafsir? Or Did you hear guys, Dr. Ruh, he, he's adding words yes. to the Quran. You are adding words to the Quran. Allah did not say, and we are not going to do that. He did not say, Wama Not kunna me, fa not me. Okay, so this you are is, saying that the scholar, he, he is, added words to the Quran. Allah did not say, we will not do that. He says, In kunna fa He did not say, Wama kunna fa This uh, what said by Ibn uh, Juraj. Uh, uh, this my my friend, I don't care what Ibn Juraj does. The Quran says we will not do so. No, it's a fabrication. So if you are saying Ibn Juraj says the verse saying, "Ma kunna fa'ilin," that means there is other Quran different from this Quran. Do you agree with Ibn Juraj or with this Quran? So in kunna. ذلك لن يفعل هذا الشيء. إن كنا فعلنا، ما فعلنا، إن كنا، that's mean if it's if we will do that we will do this، but doesn't say nowhere I will not do that. If I say to you if I want to buy Pepsi Cola I will stop in that supermarket. So I did not say I will not do that. I say if I want to buy I will buy it from there as simple as that. Nowhere it says I will not do it. However, the important, my friend, he do it or not, that's not important. The important is, he says we are going to take it from us. He's talking about taking the partner, and the partner is from us. And here we see that Allah and the human and you, you are sharing bed together. So you, Dr. Rohi, and Allah, you will have some beautiful women made for sex, and you both of you will have a threesome maybe. Uh, <coughs> no, 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 my friend, you must uh, read the uh, scholars, the saying of a scholar. Uh, I just scholars. showed you the scars. Here we go. Uh, uh, give you the, 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 the next ayah, uh, the right? next ayah, what said? Hmm. So, what is Allah Azza wa Jal Laysa and the who bought it? What does this have to do with my topic? You see, the Quran is a very funny book. He just said a verse after it had nothing to do with the verse before it. We are talking about having children or having a wife from a child, having, having sex with a wife, and then we will have a son from her. So the verse after it have nothing to do with that. And this is the Quran. The Quran have nothing to do with each other, which is proven again that the Quran is not a book of God because the verse after it should be connected to the verse before it, but there's no connection. The same as the verse before it. What the verse before it have to do with the verse after it? Nothing. What is the verse before it have to do with the verse after it? Nothing. This is the Quran. 
it's a book of talk you know a guy just keep talking saying nothing it's just to fill up the pages making himself like he's speaking to God and you know like uh, Dr. Rahi I will give you a chance we will change the topic for you you choose for me in the front of everybody everybody is my witness choose for me one thing in this book it's called Quran proving Allah to be exist and he is God choose for me something not stupid in the in, in this book I'm not being rude you know me I speak things as it is can you show me one chapter in this Quran we cannot accuse it to be stupid no no you choose no you, you choose, change, no, you choose the you most wise, you no no choose the most wise chapter in the Quran and I will prove to you My this book cannot be from God choose for me the best chapter you have you have a PhD from the Arizona University you are a doctor you are a sheikh and I am listening give me the best chapter in the Quran and everybody will laugh this is cannot be the book of God choose it which one you choose you choose any, any no, choice, I, any if I choose people, and no if this. I choose people will say he choose bad stuff silly stuff I will I want you to give me the hardest one which chapter in the Quran you think can make those Christians we have almost 900 people listening can you make those Christians believe in Allah by giving us something from the Quran something very powerful uh, the first chapter Al-Fatiha Al Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen All right Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Okay, but this is not the first chapter in the Quran, you know that This is not the first chapter This is supposedly given to Muhammad later But let us go together The first, the first chapter, chapter in the Mus'haf okay. no, 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 no. This is in Mus'haf of who? Ibn Mas'ud? Ibn Mas'ud don't have Al-Fatiha No problem Now let us read together in the name of Allah, the most uh, 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 Rahman al Rahim. Why Allah is saying in the name of Allah if He is the one is talking? Uh, because this book is the, the human and the, and what the, the, what the, the human? for what believers. Who is and the one one believer is, uh, Who is the one who is talking? Speak. He said, Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim. But, so he, but he is talking. You, uh, who is said? the one is talking? If you are, if you are Rohi, do you say to Christian Prince in the name of Rohi? Does that make sense to you? Since when, if a person is talking, he say in the name of, I am a Christian prince, I say in the name of Christian prince? Yes, this book is uh, to people, not to I God. understand it's to so people. When so the, when people I understand under, uh, it's to people. This so why Allah, he don't say, I am Allah speaking to you. Instead, he said, in the name of Allah, which means the one is talking cannot be Allah. There's no way the one is talking is Allah. No, no. He's saying the name of Allah. It is not beautiful to say that uh, I am the God. So when What's we read with this, What's wrong? Is, what, is, what it, I isn't it Allah? What he said, it? how come Allah, when he saw Musa in the Quran, he says to uh, to, to Musa, I am Allah, Rabbul Alameen. So you just said, it's not beautiful to say I am Allah. That's funny. This is against what the Quran teach. The Quran says that when Musa he came to the tree, the tree which was burning, huh? Allah he said to Musa, and Allah he spoke from the tree, saying, I am Allah, the Lord of the two world. Is that correct? Did he say I am Allah? Yes, okay. God want to declare about his self right. uh, to Moses okay. in this, so, in this so, uh, moment. But you said, but you so said, he not, said you said it's not beautiful for Allah to say I am Allah but here we go so Moses he he saw the fire in the tree Allah said to him verily I am Allah the Lord of Al Alameen the two words which don't believe in the genie and the human so why you said to me it's not beautiful for Allah to say I am Allah the Lord of the two words so now if you want to read the Quran do you said I am the Lord uh, the word uh, the Lord of uh, the world you should how do you see because how people now will know okay when you say Bismillah rahman ar rahim all right that's mean the one is talking is not Allah it's someone else that's mean the Quran is a fabricated book this is the author of the Quran the one who wrote the Quran he is saying he making a prayer says in the name of Allah the minif so if I am writing a book I write if I'm a Muslim in the name of Allah etc because simply I am making a presentation for my book because I am an author but not I'm not Allah but if Allah is the one is writing the book 
He will not say in the name of Allah. He will say, I am Allah, the Lord of the world. And Dick, look at the verse after. And supposedly you choose for me a smart verse. All the praise be to Allah. How Allah say all the praise be to Allah. Allah speaking, saying, all the praise to Allah. Or this is a prayer made by a man praying to Allah. Yes, this is the هذا هو أسلوب اللغة العربية وأسلوب العربية. No, my friend, I am an Arab. I am an Arab more than you. You are not an Arab. You are an Egyptian. So don't tell me this is a slope of the Arabic. All the praise to Allah. If somebody praying to Allah, he say that to Allah. But Allah speaking about Himself, saying all the praise be to Allah, the Lord of Men. He already says, I am, I, I, I am Allah. Why? And then he repeat again, verse number three, the most beneficent, the most merciful. But he just said that. He just said that too. A second ago, why he's repeating it again? Because he's empty. There's nothing to say. And then the only honor and and the ruling judge uh, and the judgment day. Okay, nice to meet you. And then you says, you alone we worship. Allah saying to Allah, we you alone we worship. Or this is a guy making a prayer. Okay. And now we, when we said Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, this is uh, how when we read this Quran for reading, mm -hmm. not, uh, but if this not for reading, we don't say that. Mm -hmm. Now, in Masalan, for Salat al-Rabbaniya, Ladaykum, Abana al-Ladhi fi al-Samawat, Liya taqaddas ismuk, Liya ati malakutak, Litaqun mashiatuka, Kama fi al-Samaya dhalik, we just made Dr. Rahi Christian. He was he was reciting. My friend, no. There they asked Jesus, how we pray? He said you pray like this. Is that the same? No. You see, in the Quran, when Allah he said to Muhammad, say, he said, Qul. Did he say here Qul? No. So he did not say say, he did not say pray like this. It is just Allah talking. As long as Allah talking, that is impossible because Allah is saying, You alone we worship and you alone we seek. Okay, how that can be if Allah is just talking? Otherwise, here there is something missing. And as you said, obviously, Muhammad was trying to copy the prayer of the Messiah, which he taught the Christians, Our Father out of heaven, forgive to us so we can forgive to others. Guide us to the straight way. So this is obviously a prayer written by Muhammad, fabricating the prayer of our Father out of heaven, claiming that it's Allah, but he forgot to switch from that first person to the second second person in the name of Allah. So that is second person talking about who? About Allah. So the author of the book is the one who says in the name of Allah. The writer of the book, he says, we seek you, we, uh, only you we worship. There's no way Allah says, only you will worship. Because if Allah talking to me, then he should say, pray like this to me. I am your God, Allah. I am the only one who owns this world. I am the only one who can help you. But to say, you alone we worship and you alone we seek, that is silly. Don't you think so? No, no, it is Quran. What meaning of Quran? Quran means something maqroo. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. No, Quran does not mean something maqroo. Maqroo in Arabic, what you, the way you mean it. The word qira'a is not even Arabic. It is Aramaic. From qarra wa ra'a. Qarra bi lisanihi wa ra'a bi aynihi. He say with his lips and he saw with his eyes, which means he say with the lips what he saw in the eyes. So when you say this is a book of Qira'a, that's me, and you are just saying that, that is me reading. So how you can read something is not written yet. This is was not written. So how you read it, but yet it's not written. And when Muhammad first time, the angel came to him, he said to him, read, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so how he read if he cannot see a book? Did he give him a book? القراءة معناها أنك تقرأ تعيد الكلمات ورائي كما أقولها الآن 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 قراءة means that you read what I say to you 
you're, what's, that's mean that's you're, that's mean you're a Pete, right? That's mean you're a Pete, correct? No, now the blind, the now the blind when he recites the Quran. No, no, no. We said the, he is the reciter. Mm. Reciter, but thank he you very much. Uh, but recite, from, thank you, you so, but recite, but recite, but recite my paper. friend, my friend, the one who recites the Quran and he's blind, he recites something he memorized. Muhammad, he did not have the Quran yet, so how he can recite something he did not memorize? So you said to me, Iqra, and a second ago, and I corrected you, and you are the one who said that Iqra means reading, correct? Yes. Okay. So Allah, he now, said to Muhammad, read. Did he say to him, read or recite? Now, when uh, the teacher said to the pupil, uh, read, uh, read this, Iqra warai, Iqra. ما أقول لكم اقرأوا ما أقول لكم هو ينطق كلمة ثم هو قرأ is the word قرأ mean recite repeat after me or mean read something written the bus the bus read something written okay so so that means the whole story after me read after me repeat after me so why Muhammad said I cannot repeat by saying the word repeat again he just repeated I, the guy he just said to him one word. He said to him, "Read." Iqra. Muhammad he says, "I cannot iqra." So you are saying to me that Muhammad he said the word, but yet he claimed he cannot say it. If the word iqra me repeat, no, no. he just what, repeated. What he said, what he said, ma ana biqara. Hmm. What I want, what you want me to read. Thank what you very much. You want me to read, guys. Thank you. So I do not know. Okay. So what I what I should read, correct? What I should read. Okay. So why the angel he squeezed him again, says to him, read. He did not tell him what to read. Yes. He because he don't uh, read anything. He is. Well, he to told read him read Akra. what? Muhammad. So, he told him read what? Why the angel read uh, squeezing him again? The guy he did squeeze Muhammad, and he says to him read. Muhammad says, and according to you, read what? The angel, he squeezed him again, and he said, read. The guy, Muhammad says, read what? The guy, angel, squeezed him again, and he said to him, read. Muhammad, for the third time, says, read what? So why the angel don't say to him what to read what? I mean, the guy keep asking you, why you keep squeezing him? Okay, said, th then the angel said, اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق. Okay, you said to him, you said that he told him read and he said what I will read, right? But the angel says to him, read in the name of your Lord, read what? He did not still did not tell him what to read. Read in the name yes, of your yes. Lord. Okay, read what? Read in the name of your Lord. Read what? He wa he want he want a prophet to focus this read this to his My saying friend, focus that he what? The want guy to is say. asking you, and you are the one who said that Muhammad was saying to the angel, read what? What I shall read? So now the guy said to him, read in the name of your Lord. But he did not tell him what to read yet. Where is the reading he gave him to read? Yes. He want he want him to notice to con to concern to focus to uh, then focus. He why Muhammad was not focusing? He was a drunk. He squeezed him a three time and still Muhammad saying read what? I mean Muhammad is right here. If somebody squeezing me, keep saying to me read, and I will say to him read what? And then he squeezed me again and I said to him read what? And then he screamed yes, the time. And the fourth and the first time he said he, he did not to No, he did not tell him to read what? He said to him, Iqra, read. He continued saying reading, but he did not give him a book. Did he give him a book to read? Yes, uh, my friend uh, Bob. Okay, sorry, now I want to go. All uh, right. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Rahi, for calling us. It uh, was, it Allah. It was uh, a pleasure to talking to you as well. شكرا أنا سعيد يعني بمناقشة الله نتكلم في وقت آخر وسأراك وشكرا لك for for your kindness و thank you take care my friend take care bye bye take welcome to Islam 
the angel he squeezed him three time read okay after all this what happened oh boy that's exactly what you face when somebody you know Muslims they don't debate us they try to defend Islam that's all which means they are not really giving honest honest answer they do their best to defend but not to tell the truth and obviously it's in the front of you uh, the guy says to him read and then the angel and the Muhammad he said to him according to Dr. Rahi I, uh, read what uh, that makes sense okay and then you squeeze him again why then oh, what the point the guy is asking you read what so why he did not say that chapter from the beginning without squeezing and squeezing the guy said to same to him read Muhammad said what say to him read in the name of your road etc what is squeezing for obviously this story is fabricated and it does not make sense in any way in any mean And the funny, you know, you are talk if you are talking to the uh, uh, talking to them, you see this guy in C. He keeps saying here. He keep keep coming here. Edward is back to Islam. Did you confirm it? I mean, what's wrong with you, my friend? I told you this is a lie. Secondly, why you don't go and ask him? Muslim, they lie, and I will not be surprised if they say that. Yeah, that it, more, one more time, you post that, I will ban you. Obviously, you are the same person. Who have nothing to say except this thing the guy he did not convert to Islam he is an ex-muslim anyway and if he convert to Islam or not who care but he did not so stop being stupid otherwise I will I will remove you from my channel you will come tomorrow Christian Prince did this guy here in Islam don't you have anything to say except this one that said this is the only one you know in the world he left Islam and he is not a Muslim and if you like to confirm what about you call the TV station and they will tell you potato call them and record the conversation brother what a bunch of kids who is a Muslim he have anything to say additional what to Dr. Rohi he said And the funny uh, uh, Faris, uh, Faris, the kid, he called me when I'm talking to the, he know I'm, going to, I'm not going to take his call. So he called me when I am talking to Dr. Rohi. He knew I'm not going, I'm, I'm busy to talk, you know, to talk to him. Isn't it funny? Any Abdul? For those who they are asking how we can be join you in YouTube, I mean, guys, just subscribe to YouTube and you will be with us. I mean, it's very simple. Subscribe and try to put uh, uh, notification on. However, YouTube not always notify people what we can do. You know, you have to. You can go to Patreon page and see if I posted something soon to be published, soon to go live on air. You will know from there. Any Muslim? The story is very simple. Islam is a very, very silly cult. And Muslims, they have nothing but a heaven of falafel. Naked women have no panties. Their, their, their legs is, is, is saying hello. 
children's in heaven dr. Roy he have no problem with 80,000 little boys in his bedroom you say what the problem child abuse God who promised us a green silk t-shirt which is a color I don't like at all I mean imagine you go to heaven and you will wear a green clothes forever as if you are in a, in a surgery room this is heaven even even in heaven you are not free Allah choose for you the clothes Allah choose the color even of your shirt your panty the color of your skin I will be white in heaven what if I like to be black what's wrong with being black I want to be Asian once in my lifetime so I can go to Indonesia and nobody will know I am a Christian prince why all of us we have to be white what what's wrong with having uh, uh, what's wrong with having an Asian uh, uh, wife in heaven or a, a, a black African women in heaven because this is a cult obsessed with the white color it's a white supremacist cult believe and teach that everything is beautiful is white even the boys they will go in heaven they will be serving you they are like pearls not only white they are like pearls white like pearls why for this is a cult any Muslim would not agree hmm? look at this heaven they are white like pearls you see it those boys are so white like sacred pearls <clears throat> not only that he promised them that in heaven there is no need for air condition why because he's speaking to Arab of the desert that's not a good news for somebody who live in Alaska he promised them that there is no Sun no heat why because those are people of the desert imagine Allah he will give you a cup of wine mixed with ginger ginger why you are mixing wine with ginger anyone knows why anyone knows why ginger the ch the kitchen of Allah has to drink wine and ginger and there's a machine to mix them together yeah, because the Arab they used to use ginger like tea they said there's this drink so Muhammad they were worried are we going to have Zanjabil which is ginger, ginger you know so he said yeah sure even your wine will be mixed with ginger. Huh? That is heaven. And in the heaven, there is a spring of water. It's called Selsabil. Anyone knows why this fountain is there? Why this fountain is there? Who is a Muslim knows why this fountain is called Selsabil? <coughs> And what is the job of this fountain? Okay, who remember a few that there is a fountain where keep you youth if you drink from it and you can live forever. Do you remember? How many of you remember? This is what the Muslim teach. A fountain if you touch the water alone not necessarily to drink it that fountain will keep you alive forever and this is how eternity is given to Muslims 
Let us see. <coughs> I will find you the hadith. Okay, here we go. There is a fountain, according to Muhammad, the prophet who tell always the truth. He never lie. This guy he never lie. There is a fountain, in the Muslim translation, they say water spring, called Al Hayat. Who speak Arabic here? Who can translate for us what Hayat mean? Who knows what Hayat mean? Bishtuwan Abdullah, you are a Muslim, Mister Bishtuwan. You can do better than Dr. Rohi. Correct. Al Hayat means the life. So, what is the name of the fountain? Life. The fountain of life. From the name, you know what this fountain does. So, none come in touch with it, with its water, but become alive. And let me tell you the story why I am five, ten thousand years old, but still alive. Because I have a bowl of this water. Every time I die, the drop of water drop from the bowl and I come back to life again. This is Islam. So in the heaven of Allah, this fountain is exist. There are people that drink from it to stay alive forever. If you don't believe me, this is a true story. It exists in the pirate of the Caribbean. This is why the Muslims believe in a guy, his name is Al Khadr. Al Khadr means green. Why is he green? Because this guy, he drank from this water. And because of that, whatever he said, even the grass which is dead will grow and became a green. So they call him a green. Mr. A green. He never died. Al Khadr was in the funeral of, 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 uh, of Adam, in the funeral of Noah, in the funeral of uh, Moses, in the funeral of Muhammad. He's alive until now, Al Khadr. This is the stupid Islam. This is exactly the stupid Islam. Uh, I think Bishtawan is next Muslim. Uh, Bishtawan, maybe we can take you in different time uh, so people will know uh, because I remember there's somebody is an next Muslim he might talk. So maybe next time we go live on air, we can take you, my friend. For today, we are done. It's already 12. We passed 12 a.m. in the morning, my time here. Uh, uh, next time, we can take you. So, guys, don't forget to download the video. And you can cut exactly the debate with Dr. Rohi if you wish. Uh, so people, they can learn from it. We don't care about how did that die, my friend. People die. All of us, we will die. Get sick. I, get, I will get sick too. And you get sick. You know, people, that's, that's not a problem. You see, the truth prove itself. It, we don't attack a person. People are people. And did that was his doing his best to defend his cult, but did that himself do not know much about Islam. And I just here we go, a guy who a PhD. Each time I ask him a question, he have to flip twenty pages, and after he flipped them all, still my answer is correct, his answer is wrong. And he is the one who a PhD from Azhar University. I don't have a PhD. I did not earn PhD in Islam. But who care? Their knowledge is little, so little about their cult. And we are the one who school them, no matter how big they are. All right? So don't forget to download the video. You don't keep them in my, in my channel. If you like to share them with your friends, let people see how the debate happened and how we debate Muslims. And feel free to invite any Muslim you think he is a big sheikh or he can bring with him the fountain of life. 
So if you have a heart attack, you drink from it. And why you are why you are worried? As long as there's a fountain of life, we drink from it, we come back to life. Who, who's worried now? Nobody. That's it, the fountain of life in front of us. And Muhammad is he don't lie. This is the Prophet Muhammad story, brother. This is a story written by Prophet Muhammad, brother. Obviously, it's true. There's a fountain in this earth, it's called the fountain of life. You drink from it, you come back to life, even if you are a fish. Don't tell me that this is a fishy story. This is absolutely true story, brother. I know many people, brother, who they drank from the water and they became alive again. As an example, all actors, how they came keep them safe, they are very young. It's not by plastic surgery. Because simply they drink from the fountain of youth. And the proof of this story can be found in the carpet of the... Uh, did I say carpet? Pirate of the Caribbean. <laughs> what a stupid cult. You people believe in this? Are you serious? You people believe in this? Carpet of the Caribbean. <laughs> The one who says you want to challenge me, no problem, my friend. I'm here almost every day. So maybe tomorrow we go live on air again. And whoever would like to call us, feel free. All right? All Abdul are welcome. Big, small, I don't care. As you see, we take them. Big, small, BHD, F FD, UED. All of them at the end of the day, they knew nothing. They have no answer. Yeah, bring your Jack Sparrow with you. And don't forget to bring the compass because you will need it a lot. All right? You will need it a lot. Somebody's saying I'm a medical doctor. What does that mean? If you are a Muslim, you are a medical doctor, you want to call me, I will call you right away. Are you? If you are a Muslim and you are a medical doctor, you because we have something to do with medicine, we will talk about who is a Muslim here is a medical doctor. <clears throat> hey, my friends and my brothers in Indonesia, I love you all, and I will try my best to do videos and to challenge more of those uh, who call themselves Ustaz in Indonesia. Like we, uh, somebody sent me a guy, his name is. Uh, uh, Shamsi Ali, Ustad Shamsi Ali, and let us see if you will ever dare to say hello, my friend. As you see, this cult, this cult, focus in one thing. From your stomach and down. And this is cannot be God. You read the Quran, you will see nothing about your heart in the heaven. Or what he is talking about. You will have there a paradise and your garment of silk. You will have pillows. I cannot wait to have pillows. And by the way, the translation here is very funny. It doesn't say reclining on their thrones. It says al al on the pillows. And in this heaven, they have no heat of the sun, no excessive better cold, because the desert they suffer from two things. When the sun is up, it's so hot. When the night is down, it's so cold. As in paradise, there is no sun or no moon. The guy is getting smarter now. He put it between two brackets. By the way, it doesn't say what he is saying in translation. It says, لا يرون فيها شمسا ولا زمهريرا. They will not see there the sun. There's no sun at all. And then there's shade over them. 
and the trees will walk to you the branches will come to you you do not need to go to the branches to grab the fruit and then there is a vessels and dishes made from silver and cups made from a crystal see how this religion focus in material and now he's talking about what about the bed about the pillow about the couch about uh, 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 our clothes about the fruits until now there's nothing spiritual crystal clear made of silver and then we will give you a drink of wine mixed with ginger have fun by the way I want somebody to mix it with ginger so we can see how, how disgusting it is going to be I don't think this is a good idea to mix wine with ginger anyone want to try it ginger with wine I'm not sure how that's going to taste and then don't try the the spring of salsa beer because it's not exist and then brother Allah will give you 80,000 little boy to serve you brother and they are so white I mean do you see and then brother you will wear a garment made from fine green silk brother mm -hmm. and brother you are going to wear a, a, a bracelet brother uh, from silver and the, the funny here the translation it says gold it doesn't say that it says silver this translator is stupid change the translation you're fired what is the other translation let's see Yusuf Ali another donkey huh. you see it's silver brother what gold this guy because there is other verses gold so he mixed up gold there's no gold here silver okay and then Allah will give you a drink pure wine I thought it's mixed with ginger already hmm. this is heaven what do you want more in different verse different chapter he will give you open buffet of, of, of fruits have uh, and the uh, uh, meat of uh, birds no fish no shrimp no lobster no crab that's it stupid cult and he tried to seduce you by women so all of this cult is based on the belly and down your stomach and your private part nothing in the heart women you will sleep with you never met you don't know them you never know any their names You see those who do one night stand they are better than Allah at least those who do one night stand they have a conversation first in Islam there's no conversation the woman she is jailed in her room and she is naked she is wearing a dress which is 70 70 dress in the top of each other but all of them they are see-through which means she is naked uh, No falafel, you see, jo uh, Joyce, you believe it? I mean, how how we Arab, we go there and there's no falafel. We commit suicide. <laughs> we will strike from the first day. Okay. <laughs> uh, and because Muhammad, he knew that those Arab, they like to own women. They like to own them, to control them. Look what he said. Those women are jailed. Uh, hold on, but here look at the look at the fruit, a brother. In the heaven, there is two heaven. There's two gardens, brother. Why two gardens? Uh, don't ask. And then a brother. Dark green in color, brother. Oh. Uh -huh. And then, brother, there is two spring of uh, pure in water, brother. Everything there's two. Just because he is using an at the end to make it fit with the with the with, with the rabbi music. And then he says, and brother, there's a fruit and date, and this fruit supposedly too. And uh, why you are denying, brother? And then there is our very companion, brother, who they are very white and they are beautiful. And brother, those companions who they are very white, they are jailed, restrained in their tents. Why Allah he jailed them? Because the Arab men are jealous. 
they like to control the women so when you marry an Arab Muslim man he put bars in the windows bars in the door he closed the window he disconnected the phone he disconnected the internet he locked the door when he leave and even after that still he is not sure you are lawful for him oh, sorry I mean faithful for him so because of their mentality Muhammad is a promise in them that those women they never saw a man before them and they are naked if you have my book sex and Allah you will see that each time you have sex with this woman she will say to you Abdul honey you are the best but they are virgin how she knew is the best and she will sing for you that nobody can do it better than you she is the best in, you are the best in sex but how this version who is jailed she never saw a man she knew he is the best and all the women they will see to, to say to their their man in this heaven the same you are the best every man is sleep with one woman of those women she will say to him you are the best they are programmed you know like like sex toys so when you finish this is you uh, honey you are the best uh, by the way you are the best like what the heck but she never knew a man before him it's like Aisha when she said women mean kumu yamliku irabo okay what does that mean who of you have testicles and private part like the Prophet Muhammad what how Aisha she knew that I thought Aisha she is a virgin and look how the Muslim they translate that they translate this and who among you can control his desire as the messenger of Allah but it doesn't say that Arabo is his a private part and now how this guy is controlling himself yet he is kissing you and he is sucking your tongue is that how a fasting person does is he fasting or he drinking from your mouth? Guys, the prophet, he is so much in control of his desire, but he kisses Aisha nonstop when he is fasting. I mean, isn't it obvious? He have a lot of control. Not only that, the prophet, he used to order her to put a sheet between her legs when she have her period. And if there's any Muslim want to say I'm lying, challenge me. All right. Anyway, say we said we are leaving for more than 30 minutes and we are not yet. <laughs> so I better go. Don't forget, guys, if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam for the free, you can get my books from Amazon, depend in Amazon of your country. And soon actually we have more books to publish. And actually, I received the, the book in the Indonesian language uh, fully translated. So I hope soon. Uh, we will have it published so Indonesian people can read it. So I want to say thank you for everybody uh, uh, And I hope that's we uh, You know we share good information today, and I'm happy that we get uh, dr. Rohi he called us and He showed the ignorance of Muslims because if this is the doctor and this is the one who is educated What about the ignorant? What about the one who have no education? If those are the one who have PhD and those are their sheikhs, what about the rest? Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And if you like always to be updated about when is going to be the coming broadcast, I think it's better if you visit Patreon from time to time, at least once a day, uh, because you will see that I have a new post. And then when you click on it, you will see that my YouTube uh, uh, coming event is going to be when. Uh, because obviously uh, YouTube is not giving notification for people I'm not sure why but as I know they are fighting me and they are not happy at all with the Christian Prince so thank you may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false I'll see you soon again